Welcome back my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here and we're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's episode we're going to be looking at Tomahawk by Felidae. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is not a coaster submission, this is something that is featured on the most popular downloads of the week. And I just wanted to do something different and pick one myself today. So I... The reason I picked this is because it's very interesting. It has a very unique theme. Uh, the creator put it on um, the arid map, or, or sorry, the uh, grasslands map. So I've actually, I didn't even really under, I didn't even realize that this map existed for some reason. I've never seen somebody use this map before. Uh, it's like the wild wild map and I guess there's no themes really in the game yet for this if it, it's very reminiscent of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 wild expansion pack where they had all the petting zoos the animals the tigers the elephants and all that stuff and uh, I just never decided to look at this map to be honest and I've never seen anyone build a park on it yet at least not on this channel yet and we've done hundreds of videos so um, Pretty crazy this one definitely stood out from the rest just because of that and to top it off I can't wait if uh, Frontier ever ends up adding in a wild expansion because this will become a popular map type I think so nonetheless let's take a quick look at the steam workshop so this is tomahawk coaster tomahawk by philiday philiday hopefully i'm pronouncing that right this was uploaded five days ago 500 subscribers come rate it favorite it subscribe to it all that good stuff it looks really cool just based off of the screenshots it's a placeable coaster of course so uh really nice indeed i think this is going to be a great placeable coaster for your desert slash arid maps let's take a better look at it in game links will be down in the description as always guys what i really liked about this is uh the queue is really easy to set up i gotta pause this because it's pretty loud the queue is really easy to set up and there was room for a priority pass i don't really see many people including the priority pass so very nice to see that i think every show everybody should take notes or page out of this design and when creating queues think about the priority pass because that is a strategy and a part of the game and when you're making these placeable coasters not many people think about adding in a priority pass so that's very cool i also really like this sign here very neat sign love it and he's got his name here little signature Really cool boarding station as well. I love these little cages. Goes really well with the theme. Some dust and stuff in here as triggered events. Um, lots of scenery. I think in the screenshots he said something like 100% scenery quality and 5 star prestige. So if you place this down in your parks, it's going to be an immediate fan favorite. It has a 6.7 excitement rating. It's uh, a very good coaster overall, and it has a very cool design. has a lot of these Cobra loops in it, some inversions with some spins in them, some really cool twists and spirals. So I think this is going to be a fun one. Let's give it a ride. I think we have one leaving the station right now. Oh, and to top it off, it's a four-seater hanging coaster. Boom! Let's ride this tomahawk. I think this is the slowest lift. Uh, if you increase the lift speed, it might increase your excitement rating a little bit. And it'll also reduce your queue times. So that might be something you want to do if you place this down in your parks. All right, big drop right off the bat. Look at this. This looks awesome. Sideways. Whoa, that is intense. Oh, through the building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we? That was a little bit crazy. For a second, I thought we were on two times speed. That... That's a bit jarring.
into the Cobra loop. Love it. Oh, and then the other way. They seem to love it. I like it. What do you guys think? That was really cool. Um, now, we will give this another ride in cinematic mode. This felt a little bit jarring. I don't know about you guys, but apparently if you do lots of dips like this, people were saying it increases the excitement rating. So it is getting nines going through there, or tens almost. So apparently these dips work, but in first person, it felt like you would get whiplash and break your neck going through here. But in terms of game strategy, it worked. It got an, a great excitement rating there. Let's see if the fear is also up. It is super high. So it's kind of weird how this game does it. I feel like if it's insanely high fear, the excitement should go down and vice versa. If it's lower fear, the excitement should go up to a certain level. Like if it's getting a 10 in fear, why is it getting a 10 in excitement? Uh, I don't know. I feel like they should balance that out where a good level of fear should be like a five. Like you're not too scared, but you're having fun. But 10, if you're if you're shitting your pants, 10 is like the scariest. So if you're shitting your pants, then you're not having a good time. That's just something I've been kind of like torn about with this game is that the higher your fear the better but in other coaster games if you're if it was too scary the excitement would drop but this game doesn't seem to have that um, logic built in so it is what it is I guess nonetheless I don't want to take anything from the way from the coaster it was very nice design overall Let's give it a go in cinematic mode. And we'll speed this thing up. Hey, okay, here we go. Cinematic should work really well considering there is no terrain in our way. That was so cool sideways through the rocks there Do -do 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 -do. the camera's doing opposite angles which is kind of annoying that was a cool shot very nice <laughs> that looks so wicked. <laughs> Cinematic mode is so great sometimes. Other times not so much. That's a great coaster. I really like it. Um, I love the design. Very unique. We haven't seen too many coasters running in this theme. Like I said, the Grasslands theme. I didn't even realize this map existed. <laughs> never looked at it. Never seen it in any submissions. Very cool. Uh, absolutely love it. Like I said, it is a placeable coaster. I, In the screenshots, I noticed that it was on this map. So I also decided to use this map as well. So I placed it down in this sandbox mode for the purpose of this video. And I really like it. It's turning me on to this idea of a grassland park. So very cool indeed. Something different, out of the box, different than what we're used to seeing. And uh, I give you unique points. Very well done indeed. Overall, a really awesome coaster. Good stats, good everything, good design. Yeah, I can't praise it enough. I don't really have any feedback. Really. Because I would say maybe make this less jarring. But the game is telling me otherwise. So I can't, I can't argue that. I really can't. So how many pieces is this overall as a placeable coaster? 2000 exactly so yeah there's no need to change anything i actually was really i really appreciated the priority pass queue um 
yeah, double thumbs up. I have nothing bad to say about this coaster and no feedback. So well done. And we got through the video in about 10 minutes. So it was a quick one, guys. I like it. It means less editing time for me and I get it out to you guys sooner. So awesome. Overall, loving it. Great stuff. So once again, everybody, that is Tomahawk from Felidae's workshop. Links will be down in the description as always. Be sure to come rate it, subscribe to it, favorite it, all that good stuff. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and let me know what you guys think of this coaster down in the comments below all right everybody thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode bye now